The Berenstain Bears and the Papa's Day Surprise. Written by Stan and Jan Berenstain. Subscribe and check out our channel where we have a whole playlist of Berenstain Bear books. Some Papa Bears are embarrassed by sentiment and pretend not to want a Father's Day present. Papa Bear is a bear of many opinions. He has an opinion about all sorts of things. He has an opinion about the best way to fell trees. Timber! He has an opinion about predicting the weather. The best way to predict the weather is by observing the length of the woolly bear caterpillar's coat. He has an opinion about the best kind of honey. No questions about it. Wild, wild honey is the best. And though, in his opinion, Mother's Day is a fine and proper holiday and worthy tribute to institution of motherhood, he didn't think much of Father's Day. Let's just skip Father's Day this year. It's just a scheme to get folks down to the mall to buy lots of gifts, not to mention a bunch of icky sticky Father's Day cards. That's fine with us, said Mama. It's a busy time for me with the quilting bee coming up and with school year ending, the cups are going to be pretty busy too. Then it's agreed, said Papa. We are not going to make a fuss about Father's Day. A few days later, Papa was fixing a creaky front step. Mama was working on her tulip bed and baby honeybear was playing on the grass. Above their heads, a pair of robins was hard at work building the nest. The fuss about Father's Day has a lot of nonsense, said Papa. Look at that Daddy Robin helping that Mama Robin build a nest. He doesn't need to have a fuss made over him. He's happy to do his job building the nest, sitting on the eggs when the time comes, and digging up worms when the chicks hatch. That Daddy Robin doesn't need a special day, and neither do I. Yes, dear, said Mama. Papa was about to continue when he heard a noise in his shop. Hey, he said, there's somebody rooting around in my shop. If it's those pesky raccoons again, I'll... But it wasn't raccoons, it was brother and sister bear. What are you two up to? asked Papa. Uh, we're, we're just getting some stuff for a school project, said brother. Er, that's right, said sister. A school project. Brother was holding a piece of special paper that Papa used for his furniture design. Sister was holding a roll of paper Papa put down when he was painting. Okay, said Papa. Just so it's got nothing to do with Father's Day, is that clear? Very clear, said the cubs. But as Father's Day drew closer, talk about it was very much in the air, and on the air as well. On the radio... And now, with Father's Day approaching, a word of tribute to all you dads out there. On the television, don't forget Father's Day. At the mall, Father's Day shirt specials, sweaters for dad, ties for dad, and just about everywhere else. Just as the drip drip of water can wear away solid rock, the constant talk about Father's Day began to wear away Papa's opinion about Father's Day. A couple of days before Father's Day, Mama and Papa were in the living room. Mama was putting the finishing touches on a quilt. Y you know, said Papa, I think maybe I'm being a little selfish about Father's Day. It's a lot of nonsense, of course, but cubs are cubs, and if they want to make a little fuss about it... Oh, sorry, dear, said Mama. I was counting stitches and didn't hear a word you were saying. Then the phone rang and Mama picked it up. Yes? she said this is she yes mrs bruin it's all arranged see you there goodbye what was that about asked papa er just some quilting business said mama by the way said papa where are the cubs they're over at cousin fred's working on a big scout project said mama oh said papa i thought they were working on a big school project uh, that's right, said Mama. It's a big school and scout project. Papa would never have admitted it, but he was beginning to hope that Mama and the Cubs wouldn't worry about his opinion regarding Father's Day. 
He even looked in drawers and closets for hidden presents. Now it was the day before Father's Day. Papa was on his way to his shop when he noticed the Daddy Robin. Mama Robin had laid the eggs and the Daddy was sitting on them. Mr. Robin, said Papa, I think Mama and the Cubs are up to something and I think I know what it is. It's Father's Day. They're going to surprise me. Mr. Robin didn't say anything. He just sat there. Papa knew what Mama and the kids were doing. They were pretending to skip Father's Day. Well, two could play at that game. Tomorrow morning when he woke up to breakfast in bed and lots of presents and cards on Father's Day, he would pretend to be surprised. But the next morning he didn't have to pretend. He really was surprised. There was no breakfast in bed. There were no gifts and cards. But wait a minute. What was the delicious smelling coming from the kitchen? It was his favorite food, French fried honeycomb. There was going to be a Father's Day breakfast. It just wasn't going to be in bed. But the French fried honeycomb wasn't for him at all. Mama explained that it was a gift for the new family down the road. Papa went out and sat on the front steps. The Daddy Robin flew by. He was carrying a worm in his newly hatched to his newly hatched chicks. Happy Father's Day, Mr. Robin, said Papa, for all the good it's going to do us. At that moment, Mama and the cubs came down the front steps. Where are you going, asked Papa. What about breakfast? We're all going for brunch at the Grismore Grill. Huh, said Papa. The Grismore Grill, please, said the cubs as they piled into the car. When they arrived, folks were lined up at the entrance. Look! said Papa. There's a sign over the door that says, Welcome Dads. So there is, said Mama with a big grin. There was a much bigger sign inside. It said, Welcome to the Papa's Day Surprise. It was painted on the roll of paper the Cubs had gotten for the school project and there was a stage with a long table. Go ahead, Papa, said the Cubs, up on the stage with the other Papas. He found a chair with his name on it and at the long table. Other Papas were on the stage with him. Lizzie Bruin's Papa, Cousin Fred's Papa, even Two Tall's Papa. Other Papas filled the seats and, and the food, all Papa's favorites. French fried honeycomb, honey cured salmon, honeyed squash. Mm -mm -mm. Someone began to speak. It was Mayor Honeypot. And now we shall hear from those who put this wonderful surprise together. Our first speakers will be Brother and Sister Beer. Brother and Sister cleared their throats and read a poem. It was on the special paper they had taken from Papa's shop. <clears throat> to the best Papa Bear in the whole wide world. You are big and strong and true, and no matter what we do, we know we can depend on you. You cheer us on when we are glad, you cheer us up when we are sad. You are always there for us to help, advise, and care for us. Happy Father's Day! Papa looked out over the audience, but he could hardly see. His eyes were misty and he had a lump in his throat, as big as a cantaloupe. After brother and sister read their poem, it was Lizzie Bruin's turn to say something about her dad. After Lizzie came Cousin Fred. As the cubs read their tributes, Papa thought about all the wonderful moments he had shared with his family. Well, they weren't always wonderful, but they certainly were moments. <laughs> Suddenly, there was the sound of the applause and cheering. It brought Papa back to here and now of the Papa's Day surprise. Cubs and Mamas were on their feet. It had been a wonderful party and a wonderful Father's Day. The guests headed for their homes. Come, said Papa as he drove down the hill to their treehouse home. I want to thank you for that lovely poem. Mama helped us with it, said Brother. Also, said Papa, I want to thank you for the Papa's Day surprise. It was a wonderful gift. That, said Sister, was a gift for all the Papas. 
We and Mama have a special gift for you. Just for me, said Papa. He pulled to a stop at the treehouse. He hurried up the front steps, through the front door, and into the living room. When he saw what was waiting for him, he could hardly believe his eyes. A bear lounger, he cried. Just what I've always wanted. It was a special chair that you could adjust up and down. It was the perfect chair for Papa. Baby Honey began to cry. She was hungry. It was also the perfect place to feed Baby Honey. Mama and the cubs watched with big smiles as Papa sat back in his new bear lounger and gave Baby Honey her bottle. The end. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope all the fathers out there have a happy Father's Day. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more Bernstein Bear Books. Thank you. Bye.